Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Today we will continue to focus on the History Challenge. The History Challenge is a legacy style challenge in The Sims that takes your Sims on a journey through history. Starting with the Stone Age. There are a lot of rules to this challenge and I'll put links to them in the description box below. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any episodes of this History Challenge. So let's make some Sims history. In our last episode, Ilsa gave birth to a baby boy that she she and Og had together, and she named the child Og Simbilis. She's thinking that life's such an adventure, and he's thinking, it's a baby boy, that means we get to try again for another baby. Which they do, because the heir to the Simbilis tribe must be a female. Let's see how many days till Ilsa ages up. Because Ilsa's been pregnant, even though she's a teenager, it slows down her aging process. She has seven days till she ages up. Og is an elder, he's lived 162 days, but because he's pretty fit, I don't see him dying when they tell him he's gonna die. I think he'll probably just keep living. And Symbolis is sleepy, and he's put himself to bed. We just had a baby. Do you want to try to have another baby, Og? Og said yes, he'd like to have children again. <laughs> So they're getting flirty with each other. Even though we are in the early civilization era, there is no guarantee how long our people will live. Especially Og. Og is an elder gentleman. So Ilsa wants to try to have another baby with Og while she knows that he's healthy. Oh, I love you so much. I'm so happy that you're my wife. When I went to Granite Falls, I think that the nature spirit became unhappy with me. But I was able to give birth to the baby without a problem. And it's a healthy baby. Well, I'm glad that the nature spirit spirit has not struck you with a plague of flies or anything. I'll give you a massage because that was a lot of work giving birth. Why, thank you. He's getting pretty tired, so we're not going to attempt to do woohoo with him unless we want to kill him. I'm going to send him off to the room. Then I'm going to send him off to bed. Ilsa's pretty tired. Let's send her off to bed while she can sleep because that baby's going to wake up and want to be tended to. And yes, the baby has just woken up. Let's see if there's anything we can do to add to the room that the children are in. I did expand it in the last episode. We're going to paint the baby room the same color as the other rooms. It'll liven it up a bit. I don't know if we ha can have any wall hanging. Take a look at decor. Do if anything that, that would be appropriate for this time period. What would be good for children? We could put the one-eyed watcher in here. It's the watcher that watches over the children. Baby Og has woken up. Isle hears the baby crying. and She's going to come in here and change baby Og's diaper. She's probably a bit confused at the sound of a baby crying because she knows the baby N grew up. Ben is going to go back to sleep. He hears his grandmother getting up, take care of the baby, and he doesn't need to get in the way. Oh, well, hello there, little baby. You're a new addition to the family. Let grandmama rock you. Oh, I see you're a baby boy. Seems that Ilsa is going to have to try to have another baby because she needs to have a baby girl. Welcome to our home in the Symbilis clan, little baby. I don't even know Know your name yet. It's been a while since Isle worked out. Isle's gonna come over here and do some exercise. She's gonna do some sit-ups and some push-ups. She's trying to stay in shape. She is an older lady and she is going to grow up in four days and then she's gonna be an elder lady so she wants to make sure that she's in her best shape possible when she does actually grow up. She's staying pretty fit for an older woman. Now we are in the early civilization era. She's lived quite a long time and has had several children, so she's ahead of the game. Isle's over here, she's working on her fitness. And she's having a grand old time working on her fitness. What is Isle's fitness level? Isle is a fitness level seven. Isle's done her laps, she's gonna go off and relieve herself at the rock. The camp is pretty quiet, no one else is awake yet, so she's gonna have a nice quiet time to herself. Ben is waking up, he's pretty embarrassed that his mouth is so nasty, so he's gonna brush his teeth. Looks like little Babu over here is wandering around, he's happy, he's clean. Ben is seeing to his dirty mouth. He can give himself a pep talk. It's all right. I know my mouth stinks, but I just cleaned it with one of the cleaning sticks that Aie gave me. At least I didn't talk to anyone and they thought I smelled. He's gonna practice his speech. Child's over here cleaning out the tub that Flint built before he died. It's got a ring of filth around it, so she's cleaning that out before she uses it. It's a poor bathtub, but it works just fine. She hasn't learned to craft bathtubs herself. Her handiness is a level seven. I'm not sure when you 
you can craft bath tubs. Ilse is just about rested up, as is Og, and I think they're gonna try to have another baby. I'm in the mood to try to have another baby, even though I just woke up. She's like, oh, I'm so tired. You wanna try to have an heir to the Symbilis clan? Oh, yes, I thought you'd never ask. We need to get to work. I see that you understand that we need a girl child. I really respect that you understand that that is how we pass on the lineage here. I understand. It's not how it works in my clan, but I understand that that's how it works here. So they're going to be trying to have a baby. Now that Og's is rested, we don't have to worry about Og dying. So wondering if she's pregnant, but there's no way possible because she didn't have woohoo with anyone. But it looks like she is nauseous. She is in the beginning of her cycle. So let's unwrap the cycle cloths so that she doesn't bleed on her garment. Even though Isle is nauseous, she knows that the rest of the family is going to get up and have to eat. And she does hear some noise coming from the adult hut. Looks like oh, she's going back to sleep. Og is like, yeah, I'm ready to go. And it does look like he is ready to go. He's a little bit dirty, so we're going to have him pass some magic on himself. He can do a scrubberoo spell. Looks like he's got a lot of fruits and vegetables in his inventory. So we're going to have to put them in the cold box because they spoil. I did notice he had eggs in his bags and they rotted. These eggs are excellent, so we want to put them into the cold rock. And this onion is magnificent. And she's going to give these perfect strawberries to her daughter. Og's coming out here to clean himself up. Wanted to make sure he didn't cast a spell in front of his wife. Because he was so worried that his wife would see, he messed up the spell. And he did not get clean. So he's going to have to go get clean the normal way. Isle has finished cooking the fish. So she is going to call everybody to meal. They have enough chairs for everybody to sit at who can sit at a table. And Og is deciding to sit over here. Elsa's gonna grab some fish as well. She heard her mother calling everyone to meal. I'll pretty much wolf that fish down. She's all done eating. She's probably gonna come in here and ask about the baby. Are you planning on having another baby soon? I saw that there was a baby in there and it looked to be a boy. Yes, mother, I took strawberries, but it didn't work. And doesn't want to hear the talk between the ladies, so he's going to clean his plate. Og is over here taking care of his baby. He, it, The baby started crying, and so he figured he'd rock it. He has a bladder full of milk that Isle gave him to feed the baby. I think we need more guards around this camp. Our tribe is getting bigger. That's really funny. I can defend this tribe against anyone who comes to attack. I'm really strong. I have been blessed by the stone goddesses with muscles. I'm so glad that the stone goddesses have blessed you with fertility. Our tribe will grow strong, but you should really eat strawberries when you get pregnant again so that you have an heir. Baby N is done eating and he is going to go off and use the potty because his grandmother taught him how to use the potty. He's going to try to do it by himself. Og has reached parenting level 4. Og can now give timeouts. He will have more information on how his advice will impact his child's development. Ilza is shown signs of the Jester personality type. Jester sims live for the moment of joy, humor, and silliness. Often they are irresponsible, wasting time by playing around instead of focusing on their goals. Well, that will explain why Ilza doesn't like to do her chores. Og is rocking baby Og. He's very sentimental. He's very happy to have another baby to ensure his lineage carries on to the next generation. I wanted you to know that I might have angered the galaxy when I went to Granite Falls. It doesn't look like you angered the nature spirits. Your baby has all its fingers and toes. Are you strong enough to try to have another baby with Og? I think you should try. Yes, mother, we have tried already. Oh! Ilsa is wondering if she is pregnant from her attempt to have a baby with Og. I know she's jumping into it right away, but we we are in the early civilization era and she could pass away at any time. No one has seen to the chickens, so Isle is going to come over here and collect the eggs. And she's going to scatter feed nearby to feed the chickens. Ilsa should come over here and form some of her duties. She's going to weed the plants. And ben needs to do some of his chores around the homestead, so he is going off to nurture the grubs. Because this is his chore. While he will not be the heir to the symbol this tribe, he needs to build up responsibility so when he has a tribe of his own he will be responsible. Ilsa is weeding while her son takes care of the grubs. Isle has collected all of the eggs and she is scattering feed around. 
Everybody come eat! All the chickens come eat! Og is going to go into the hut to practice his magic. He is pretty confident that his wife doesn't know that he's a spellcaster, but until he's certain whether or not his wife knows he's a spellcaster, he is going to practice his magic inside the hut. He's going to practice some more practical magic. Ilsa is going to go hug baby Anne. Baby Anne has been pretty much neglected with the birthing of her third baby. So baby Anne is going to see his mum. Oh, has mummy been neglecting you? I love you, little Anne. Where have you been, mummy? I have not seen you in many, many times. Were you off fighting in the forest? Where did you go? Would you like me to give you a bath? I can tell you where I went. When I'm giving you a bath, let's go. Og is busy practicing his magic. In the dark. I don't know why Isle's way over here. Isle's decided to go for a walk. She's really, really far away from the homestead. She's feeling pretty confident that she's not gonna run into any box heads. And even if she did, she would probably beat them off. Maybe she's going off searching for plants for her herbalism. And that's what has taken her out this far. She sees a plant over here. And it looks like it's ready to harvest. So she's gonna come on over here and harvest it. And that looks like there's all there is to be harvested right now. She's feeling fit and strong. She's trying to assure herself that she's still strong enough to walk around her homestead. And she's sort of patrolling it to make sure it's clean and that there are no box heads around. Picking up this pile of trash because it's right near the homestead. She can't believe that there's trash near her homestead. Katia probably put this here. She wants to sabotage us. We'll probably step on it and hurt ourselves. I don't want the babies to get tangled up in this. While she feels good about cleaning up the trash that probably would have hurt the family, she hurt herself and cleaning it up. And Symbilis is furious. While he's really, really clean, he just ran out of the bath hut thinking, I'll, I'm just going to put myself to bed because nobody cares about me. So says, that's not true, little man. Mommy loves you. I'm going to read you a story. I was off to go collect another plant that she saw. None of these are the plants that she needs for herbalism and she's getting really tired. I can't find any unidentified plants that I need for herbalism. I think I'm going to head back to the campsite. Og is tired of practicing magic he's going to see if the spell that he knows to clean himself actually works this time oh, and i'll you. scrubberoo myself Children. yes it worked that time he is so happy he's pretty tired from having practiced his magic so he's gonna go to sleep he also can just not get her baby to go to bed he keeps running out of the room she finally captured him and she's going into the hut to read little baby anna's story come on baby Anne. let's get you to bed you're very very overtired. I'm gonna tell you a story that my mother told me. A long time ago in a land far away there was a monster. He lived behind a waterfall. It rained a lot where the monster lived. The rain is making baby Anne think that he has to go to the bathroom. It'll say it's something that didn't agree with her and she's been having a lot of gas so I'm gonna have her come over here and use the rock. I'll see fish coming over to her. Fish is so excited excited to see his mother. He hasn't seen her in so long, but he looks like he's sick. Isle's concerned. She wants to go to bed. She's coming over. Oh, I see you are here, but you're sick. You have to go home because Ilsa just had a baby and I don't want you to make the baby ill. Did Ola have a baby? No, we've been trying, mother. We haven't had a baby yet. When we have a baby, I will yell it out to all of the island to hear. Ilsa feels pretty disgusting. She's been working around the homestead and taking care of her toddler. She's going to go see to her needs and take a bath in the bath hut. Ben has just leveled up his motor skills by swimming around in the pool. Ben has reached motor level four. Ben has achieved another level in swimming. He can now swim better and faster. He got into the pond thinking that he could get clean, but he's not getting clean. He's just getting dirtier swimming around. He's getting pretty tired. It's only 4.20 in the afternoon, so he's not going to go to sleep. He's just going to go take a nap. All of the Symbilis family is pretty tired from doing their daily chores. It's a pretty normal day in the Symbilis tribe. Not much is going on. 
I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow the Simbilis family on their journey through the early civilization era. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.